hope you're doing great today. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna cut through the chase. We're going to declutter and organize my kitchen today. So I this cabinet first and it is where I have all the medicines right now and like my essential oil DIY stuff, which I haven't used in like a year. So I need to go through all that, declutter it and declutter the medicines at well, you know, see what's expired and whatnot. This cabinet was supposed to be just spices, but now it's just crammed with stuff that I didn't know where else to put it. This is the most embarrassing one. This was my baking cabinet. It's not working out because of it's like shaped strange. So I'm gonna move the baking cabinet to this, and this is gonna become where I put the medicines. And I'm, we'll see how that turns out as well. But this has like all my pantry goods in the kitchen. This is all the food that we have in the kitchen. And I'm thinking about moving this over to this cabinet. That way it's, you know, by the stove. It makes more sense to have the food. You get it. All right, moving on. Down beneath here, we have this corner cabinet. Ignore how dirty they are. I'm also gonna clean those. It was housing my bigger uh, appliances and cereals, but people just throw stuff back in here and um, I need to reevaluate how I do that. This is my dish towels, which all in the wash um and this is my glass storage and the lids and that's all that's right there and it's organized so i'm not going to touch it i just did under the sink the other day it just needs a little bit of tidying up and looks like my husband didn't know where to put the paint so i just threw that in there so that's not that bad it's really not it's already organized it's just kind of cluttered up here is where i have the cups so we're going to declutter those and I think I'm going to keep them here because it just makes sense. And then the serving where like the plates and the bowls and all that is over here. And then my stuff I use the least is on the higher shelves for why would I need it, you know? And then I have one more cabinet right here. This is where my cookie sheets and the drying racks, cooling racks, not drying racks, cooling racks are. So that's... I'm not sure I'll touch that. And again, ignore how dirty it is. I am going to clean all of the surfaces off when I um, get everything reorganized. I don't know, I'd also like to fix this up here. I can't stand it. But how cute is this little snowman my kindergartner made? Ah, I love it. All right, I'm gonna get started um, decluttering this cabinet and work my way through that. And then I think I might um, go ahead and move this stuff over to this cabinet. Yeah, I have to do that to make it all make sense. All right, so let's go. So like I said, the first thing I need to do is go through all of these medicines and find the expired ones or the ones that we're just not going to use. Um, this box that I'm going through right here is actually the kids medicine and um, they have a lot of expired meds because we really, I don't like to use a lot of over the counter medications. I like to find like homeopathic remedies and things like that. Um, and I'm definitely just getting rid of the Tylenol because of the lawsuit they just had. I'm not going to take any chances with that. Uh, I have a, some difficulty finding the expiration dates on some of these, so give me a hands up in the comments if you too have trouble finding the expiration dates on products, If even if it's not medicine. I just, I feel like I'm going crazy because I'll search and search and it's so hard to find it, but um, 
I'm pretty excited that I got rid of so much and was able to consolidate what was left into this bin and it worked out really well. So this is your cue. If you haven't decluttered your medicine cabinet in a while, go grab it right now and declutter it with me. This is the adult medicine bag. And I, if you're wondering, I got this bag from my friend when she sold um, 31. I absolutely love these little bags, but I don't know if that company still exists anymore. I haven't even checked, but if you're interested, um, it's 31 T-H-I-R-T-Y-O-N-E. Just Google that and I'm sure somebody will pop up that you can order one from, but it's a great little bag and it has two little mesh pockets on the inside. And I have used this bag for years for my husband and I's medication and he'll just go out randomly buy vitamins. So I have to go through here and see if uh, they're expired. And I did find, I think a couple of bottles that expired two years ago. So I went ahead and got rid of those. And I um, have been wanting to try to find a different container for the medicines. So I do switch that out. But my goal is to get one of those Lazy Susan type deals. It's got separate compartments and you spin it around to put in the cabinet for all the medicines. Like it, get one for the adults, one for the kids. That way we can just easily find what we need and not have to pull the bin down and dig through it. That's my goal. But for today, I'm just going to switch and use a container that I've already got because this is a zero dollar budget um, reorganization day. I got this pretty little gray basket at Dollar Tree a few years ago. Pretty much any basket I have is either from Dollar Tree or like if I have a wicker basket, it's most definitely thrifted. So I really like to get things really cheap. Now, like I said, this is all of my essential oil things, like my extra roller bottles, um, spray bottles, things like that, and my carrier oil. So I'm going to put these in another container and relocate it because the reason I haven't used it is because it is out of my reach. So I need to make it more accessible. So maybe I will actually use it. I do have a few things I would like to try, like some DIY toilet bombs to like clean the toilet and deodorize it naturally. Uh, yeah, so maybe I will share that with you guys if I end up doing that. Got like all my thieves out here in this pocket. And then I just have um, some Epsom salt, my Almond oil is my carrier oil of choice because I'm allergic to coconut. We have some citric acid. Where is it? It's loud. Citric acid, two things of witch hazel, and then just some spray bottles and things like that for when I want to make uh, room sprays. And then this is just some information and some recipes for oily stuff. So I'm going to go put this somewhere else out of the kitchen. I am so glad that you are here with me today. Have you started decluttering or spring cleaning yet? I feel like I need to get my house decluttered 
before I can spring clean it because oh my gosh we just have so much stuff y'all like I feel like every time I declutter <laughs> sorry my throat is getting sore every time I declutter within a month I see even more that I should have gotten rid of so it's definitely an ongoing process and it's a learning process so be kind to yourself if you're just starting out on your decluttering journey and you feel overwhelmed it's perfectly okay I started in the kitchen and y'all this took me three days because you know life goes on around the decluttering I can't just do this and nothing else I have to still feed the kids um, help them when they're hurt help my husband with what he needs keep the house picked up you know all the motherhood duties so definitely give yourself grace in this decluttering season and we'll get it done together I think I have shared in a previous video that I have this She's in Her Apron Planner. And let me know if you guys want to see more about that and I'll be glad to share it. But in it, she has a freezer, fridge, and pantry inventory. And so that is what's really motivated me to get this done is because I want to fill out those charts. Like I want to go through my pantry and write down every single thing I have so that I can meal plan that way instead of just having to look and figure it out and like use all my mental energy on that so decluttering these cabinets and reorganizing them i can easily see what food's in here so i can do that chart i think that's another important tip that i can encourage you with is if you are having trouble just getting started decluttering or anything like that in your life definitely pinpoint your why like why do you want to be decluttered is it for um time saving money saving um your mental health like find out why you really want to do it so that when you become discouraged even while you're decluttering or whatever you're going through in life you'll remember why you're doing it and it will give you the motivation to keep going Oh my goodness, y'all. There is so much stuff in here that I didn't even realize because I guess we all just come in here and cram stuff in here. This thing was packed to the back corners. Um, another tip, just because you have the space doesn't mean you have to fill it up and I have to keep reminding myself that. So I really, really love how just having the medicines in here and then I think I left the dried beans on top in that basket. Um, just having that in there helped my mental health so much to know that there's not all kinds of stuff crammed in there so it's going to be super easy to take those few items out and wipe it clean for the spring cleaning and i'm just so excited so definitely just because you have the space doesn't mean you need to fill it This container that I had in my room that's empty, so I'm gonna use it to put all the like little baking mixes and the chocolate chips. In our laundry room, we have um, two big cabinets that I use to put um, extra like food and stuff like a back stock area. So I'm going to take the multiples out of this bunch because oh my goodness, do you see all that flour I have? And I'm going to put some of that in the uh, laundry room pantry.
Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life. Hey, darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the country. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel out so much. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and they push it out to more people. Or share this video with somebody who you know needs a help getting a jump start on their decluttering journey. I would love to find more people and just help inspire them to have a better life. I'm so glad that I finally feel like I want a better life. <laughs> so welcome to my journey. Um, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Let me know down in the comments, what is the first room that you like to start decluttering in when you're overwhelmed with your house? spices and just stuff I can put in the laundry room for a back sock. I drive my husband absolutely insane and crazy because I like to use baskets everywhere but I'm telling you they make all the difference in the world. All right, so this little corner cabinet surprised me just about as much as the top corner cabinet. Y'all, there's so much junk in here. And I spilled the toothpicks like a month ago and just never picked them up. You know, sometimes you just don't have the mental bandwidth to care. And that's where I was. But today I'm going to pick it all up, wipe this out, and it's going to look so much better.
Now I need to just, I'm just gonna go through these and um, get rid of the ones, like the Christmas ones. I wanna put those back in storage till Christmas and everything's just thrown in here. So I'm, I'm gonna fix it and declutter. Can't you see? These are all trash. I don't have the cups to them anymore. I do decide to take those um, Starburst water flavor packets out of the boxes. I don't, I don't know where the footage went. Down here, the drink mixes and the basket of everything here. And the top is the least used items, which I've got a few more in the dishwasher. So when I get those out, um, I might put those up there too. This cabinet is done. Open the um, lemonade box or the canister and I got it everywhere. So I have to clean that mess up now too. Moving on to the cabinet next to this one, which is the plates and the bowls, and then I don't even know what this is. There's extra serveware and some plastic utensils. I don't know what this is. I'll find out. So a lot of my stuff is in the dishwasher, so the plates are going to go here, the bowls, and then I'm just going to have my um, baking dishes here. The larger ones are going to go in that bottom corner cabinet, easier for me to grab. And the top is the least used things, like I've got one of these crocs right here, I've got a snack tray, and two pie plates. But I can easily get to those if I need them. But this is what I use on a daily basis, so that's what I've kept close to within the arms reach. I'm going to be putting all these. I have to wash these and then put them back into storage for this Christmas. And then I'm getting rid of these because they're super heavy and they're not a whole set now because, you know, they get broken. So I'm going to donate these, store those. You've probably noticed as I've been decluttering in this video that my entire kitchen just has random dirtiness all over. And that's because, like I said, life has been going on while I'm doing this and kids are messy y'all everywhere they go something gets wet whether it's a drink or 
I don't even want to imagine what else they use. Um, if you catch my drift. Anyway, so I am going to be cleaning off these cabinets. My husband was like, here, just try this drill with this attachment so you have a little more uh, manpower. And it worked really well, but I'm going to say I'm not any less sore using this drill than I am just scrubbing with some good old-fashioned elbow grease. And if I have any recommendations, if you're building a house or redoing your cabinets, do not, I repeat, do not get them with these little grooves in them. They are a pain in the tuchus to clean. I'm so, I'm just so irritated trying to clean these out. I'm going to have to get like a butter knife with a napkin, soap, and scrub between the little slats on these cabinets. Um, I definitely have nothing against the white color because as you can see, the sides are very easy to clean, but these little slats, y'all, they're just, oh my gosh, it is such a nuisance. So definitely, even though it looks cute, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself because, oh my word, they get so dirty so fast. And I just, in my opinion, it is not worth it. Also, I do apologize for the weird lighting um, in multiple parts of this video, including this one. I'm, I just film with my phone, so like, it doesn't adjust to the lighting like a camera would. And I don't have curtains in my window, so I know the lighting's really wonky, but you can still see what I'm doing. So it doesn't last for very long, I promise. Those towels are in the floor by the dishwasher and under the trash can cabinet because my husband has been working on the dishwasher simultaneously. And that's why there's a huge mess. There was water everywhere and bubbles. So the towels are still soaking that up. I'm telling you, it's just craziness over here. To show you guys, I went ahead and, and decluttered the top of the fridge and I just have my bread in this little canvas bin, Dollar Tree years ago. Um, this basket, I actually got this at Five Below and the little cloth insert is gone, but um, I got these like six years ago and I love them and they're falling apart, but I just can't part with them. I, I hoard organizing things and I just have chips in that. And then this is where all the food that's in the kitchen is. It's very simple. Over here I have my spices. My husband got in here. Like a raccoon. Rummage through my cabinets. Alright, so the spices are here. I've got some seasoning packets and the toothpicks. Some more spices, my tea. And a bag of rice. And then that top box just has uh, wooden skewers in it for when we decide to do like shish kebabs or something. This cabinet is the medicine cabinet. I put the dried beans up there because where else can I put them? I don't know. Um, I've got my kitchen binder in here with like recipes and stuff. This is the adult medicine basket. This is the pill boxes and like measuring cups and things like that. And then there's uh, cough drops in that. This is the kids medicine box and then just an extra mask if we ever need those again you never know you never know this is now my baking cabinet um so i've got like all my flowers right here and powdered sugar i've got some cake mixes the baking soda gelatin and then this is like the chocolate chips i hide my gluten-free oreos up here um some jello mixes and then the top is marshmallows my hand mixer and then like um Caro syrup, vanilla, cupcake liners, things like that in that basket. And this cabinet is the cups. And I probably will go through and declutter some more. But right now, I'm happy with this. Um, so the cups are here. Drink mixes, and least items, least use items up there. And then here in the cabinet, we've got bowls and dishwasher plates um i really wanted to just keep these white ones i really just wanted to keep these white ones but i can't find the other three so we have these plastic ones that we use every day i'm i'm debating on getting rid of some of these still a baking dishes an extra crock uh two pie plates and the snack tray and that's it and i'm quite satisfied with how it was organized i just need to wipe 
these top cabinets down because they are filthy. But I'm gonna do that in another video because I'm tired, y'all. And I've already cleaned the bottom cabinets. So I am satisfied with how it all turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Be grateful. Give grace. God bless.